surprise in public speaking in my school. This is not so very exciting, Aisha, and I am just tired of your stupid public speaking events. You don't deserve this. But why? Show this to mom. You will find the answer. Mom, Aisha, can you just pass me the box? Yeah. And mom, the shield. Amar, check the door. Mom, I got the shield for public speaking. This is not the first time I'm warning you, Aisha. This is the third time. But this is how I want my life to be. You can't desert your life by your own, Aisha. And I don't want myself to be blamed of bringing you up against our society. Aisha, you're a girl. You should know your responsibility. So please, stop this once and for all. Please. Mom, but I have a big competition ahead. Excuse us, sir. Yeah, come in. Please. So, Miss Flarine, Mr. Karthik, I don't have much time, and I want you to be precise about this meeting. Got it? So, here it is, the RMD US project, they are the most important client of our company and I want a responsible person to finish this job. So here it is, Mr. Karthik, I want you to complete this project. What the hell, I've been working in this company for so long and still do you find me irresponsible? Look Miss Florin, I'm your new manager and I don't care about your report in this office, it's just that I don't trust women. That's male chauvinism. Ha! Look! You women, I'm not bothered or concerned about your feminist opinion, okay? I just want this job to be done and it is going to be Mr. Karthi, okay? Oh, so is that all? Because me being a woman, beaten up by all hypocritic men who are least bothered about the development of the company and Mr. Karthik, who bought his manager with some bribe and a stupid bottle of white rum? <laughs> Look, go away before I take any action on you. How the hell does she know Karthik? It's just a woman thing, never mind. <laughs> it's just useless for me. Aisha? Yes, ma'am. Actually, I was about to call you. Why aren't you registered for the state public speaking contest? No, ma'am. I am not going to participate. What? But why? This is not the first time I'm warning you, Aisha. This is the third time. But this is how I want my life to be. Aisha, you're a girl. You should know your responsibility. Mom, but I have a big competition ahead. Ma'am, you carry on. I'll come. So, are you afraid of your obstacles? Hmm, wait.
She is my sister, Renu. She is so pretty. She is my only sister. An acid attack to victim. She was a bold lady. And my parents didn't want me to go for a job because they were terribly afraid that they would lose me also. But I was strong about my passion and I wanted to make teacher Renu's dream come true by creating more young talents. Wait a minute. Hmm. Fear downs your strength. Darkness lowers your breath. Lift up the hope. Walk heads up and reach for the stars. Do you remember these lines? Once you have written these lines on your test paper, this reminded me of my life journey. I believe that. I believe the lines are soulful and you deserve praises. Lift up the hope and reach for stars. As your line says, you have a great talent and bright future. Ma'am, the principal wants to meet you. Yeah, I'm coming. My stars are beyond your imagination and my thoughts are beyond your understandings. Yes, I am a woman. I may be physically weak, but you can't control my dreams. I have decided to create my own path, my own firm. You've lit up my hope, and now it's time to reach for the stars. <laughs> you are a lonely goose. You are nothing without race services. No one is ready to support you. And listen, you are going to get thrown away. Man. The best CEO of 2017 is Miss Clarin. Let's give him a big round of applause. State Public Speaking Contest 2017. First prize goes to Aisha.